shops at MacArthur Hills. The ground breaking, the ground is moving. And we are getting a Whole Foods in Irving, Texas. Obviously, we've started a little bit of work. Uh, we've got our, our anchor announced this Whole Foods market. But we have gotten phone calls and phone calls from all, you know from business owners as well as from citizens saying, when are we going to get a Whole Foods in Irving? We really offer the largest selection of natural and organic products as well as really great food options that people enjoy to just come for a meal. So we look forward to really developing a special store for this community that is unique to this area. These stores, amazingly, are destination retail. So we are not only going to be able to fulfill the grocery needs between all of our wonderful grocery stores, you know, with the addition of Whole Foods, but really bringing people in from other cities as well to spend their precious sales tax dollars in our city. It's really a great evolving community and there's just so much going on here with major corporations, the medical center, for the physicians and the employees of Las Plantas. I see a lot of calls, honey, can you stop and get this on the way home? So I think it's just going to be wonderful. We've got a lot more space to lease, a lot of interest and a lot of activity. There are a couple tenants that we can announce. We're bringing first to the market a Zoe's Kitchen. They're a, a, a Mediterranean lighter fare. Polio Tropical, which is a, uh, a restaurant that's a Fiesta restaurant group concept. And then we're doing a new home for Fidelity Investments, which is a large brokerage services firm. And I think this is good news for everybody in the city. You've got really, really strong demographics here in Las Colinas in this portion of Irving. You've got a really strong daytime population with uh, high wage earners who, there's a, a huge employment center here in Las Colinas, and you've got people who are really starved for retail. They're, they're, as far as retail goes, Irving is really underserved. So what it shares to the retail community is we're open for business and we have the clientele that's gonna support their business model. So yes, we're very excited.